Refrigeration HVAC exam practice questions set 3. Number 1. In an air conditioning and refrigeration system, what type of heat is absorbed by the refrigerant in the evaporator? A sensible heat, B latent heat, C specific heat, or D superheat? The correct answer is B, latent heat. Number two, for every change in elevation rising up into the atmosphere, the atmospheric pressure decreases by 1 psi for every A, 1000 feet, 1343 feet, 2343 feet, or D, 3343 feet. Correct answer is 2,343 feet. Letter C. Number 3. At sea level, the maximum suction lift of a water pump is 26 feet or less, sometimes 25 feet. When installing a water pump, a thousand feet above sea level how much is the loss in suction lift a two feet b three feet c four feet d five feet correct answer is a two feet so as a general rule of thumb for every one thousand feet above sea level you need to subtract two feet from the maximum suction lift of 26 feet or 25. Number <clears throat> 4. At sea level, the atmospheric pressure is 14.7 psi. As you move up to an elevation of 1000 feet above sea level, the atmospheric pressure is reduced by approximately how much? A. 0.2 psi B. 0.3 psi D. 0.4 psi or D. 0.5 psi Correct answer is D. 0.5 psi So half a psi for every thousand feet uh, rise in in uh, elevation above sea level uh, there's a half a psi reduction in atmospheric pressure so just a summary right there every 1000 feet of rise in elevation the atmospheric pressure decreases by 0 0.5 psi half a psi per thousand feet number five what is the m amount of heat energy required to evaporate one pound of water latent heat of vaporization of water a 0 0.5 b 144 b btu C, 970 BTU, or D, 1 BTU? Correct answer is C, 900 BTUs. So for every pound, you need 970 BTU of heat to evaporate or vaporize water. Number 6. The latent heat of fusion of water from ice to water or from water to ice, vice versa, is 144 BTU, letter A, B, 0.5 BTU, C, 970 BTU, or D, 1 BTU. Correct answer is A, 1 44 BTU. Number 
7. How much heat is required to raise one pound of ice 1 degree Fahrenheit when the temperature is below 32 degrees Fahrenheit? A144 BTU, B970 BTU, C0.5 BTU, or D1 BTU? Correct answer is C0.5 BTU. Number 8. How much heat is required to raise 1 pound of steam 1 degree Fahrenheit above? The temperature of 212 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the boiling point of water. A, 1 BTU, B, 0.5 BTU, C, 144 BTU, or D, 970 BTU. Correct answer is B, 0.5 BTU. Number 9. Ice exerts pressure in what direction? A. Downwards only, B. Upwards only, C. Sidewards only, or D. All directions? Correct answer is A. Downwards only. Number 10. Water exerts pressure in which direction? A. Downward, B. Upward, D. Upward, C. Sideways, D. All directions and all surfaces it comes in contact with. Correct answer is D. All directions in all surfaces in which it comes in contact with. Okay. So right there's the summary. Liquids exert pressure in all directions. And the pressure at a particular point in a liquid is the same in all directions. Number 11. A gas exerts pressure in which direction? A downward, B upward, C sideways, D all directions. The answer is A all directions. The explanation is that gases exert pressure in all directions as well as fluids exert pressure in all directions as well. Okay, that's it for this video. And see you again on the next video. Cheers, have a good one.